guys, it's Sim Queen, and this is part 47 of the Not So Very 2.0 challenge. Um, so in the last part, I said that I was going to upgrade the house a little bit. Things are just starting to get really overwhelming in this household, and I don't know if it was because the house was disorganized or because we have so many children or what's going on, but it was just really really overwhelming and I was starting to feel I was at that point where I didn't even want to play in the save file because too much was going on and it felt like I was out of control so I feel like these renovations should help a little bit the first thing I did was copy the bathroom and just made another one over here so exact same thing um we have two toilets now we still have two of these bushes here I don't really know what to call them but I call them the woohoo bushes you can also pee in them though so those are kind of just like a backup if we have sims that have to use the washroom. I have two of them here. Um, and then for the inside of the house, I did add another bedroom here, this big one. I thought that the four kids could share this bedroom um, because of the bunk beds, which are huge space savers. I'm so glad we got these. Uh, they have a dollhouse so they can play dolls. And I feel like we didn't have very many toys before, so I did put in a few more toys. Uh, Grayley has her own bedroom here. I feel like she's the heiress. She's the only girl. She's the youngest. She might as well just have her bedroom to herself. So I tried to make it a little bit gray. There's not that many gray toddler items. So I did what I could with that. And then this bedroom here is Sterling's bedroom. And I feel like, I feel like this is going to be good enough to have four kids share one bedroom is not that, um, unreasonable when we have bunk beds. This is a fairly large bedroom. So I think that we should be fine. Uh, looks like Sunny is off to work. Or is she? I think I had her skip work just now. Um, so, should Sunny is currently at work. No, I don't want her to skip. It says she's not at work. What are you doing? Okay, hold on. Go here. She's having a hard time getting out of the ocean, which I get. She obviously doesn't want to go to work today. Um, she doesn't really have to go to work today, but I'm going to have her go anyway, I think. There we go. All right. Now she's able to leave. Um, anyway, so yeah, those are the three kids' bedrooms. The parents' bedroom I left pretty much the same. Um, for the living room, I did add in a TV, which will probably never get used. I don't know if we can even use a TV with off-the-grid... Wow, sorry. Off-the-grid homes. I don't know how that works. I added a few more things that do use more electricity, so we'll see what happens. Um, the TV, I added some lights because it was getting really dark in here. Um, for the, oh, I made like a little dining area because we didn't really have one before. Um, so I'm going to move this kava bowl into the kitchen. Uh, so we do actually have eight seats for our Sims to sit down and they can eat their meals together now. Um, living room area is pretty much the same, just push forward basically. And the kitchen I added in, well, I changed the stove to yellow because there's just not enough yellow in this household to represent sunny properly. Um, and then added in some more countertops, an island place the garbage can, added in a plant, and I think that's pretty much it for the house. I think it's looking pretty good though. So yeah, I think that's, I think I forgot to extend the roof though. Yeah, that is one thing I forgot to do. I forgot to extend the roof, but I will do that a little bit later on. Um, and I think, I'm really hoping that life in this house is going to be a little bit better. I, I don't know if that's realistic or not, but I, I hope so because I am really tired of the mess and as I say that as Joel picks up garbage and mops up puddles also our kids are really messy oh that's okay okay wait Sterling is okay he's being okay he's 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 playing that's good uh where's Grayley they make a lot of messes and it's really frustrating I don't see any of those like messes where they dump flour or paint on the ground and I'm not seeing any of those which is good those are really frustrating and our kids they're practically feral and the reason for that is because th there's a lot of them I am really really outnumbered here so I kind of let them do whatever they want uh, let's clean this up what's Sterling up to he's gonna go play dolls with Grayley okay you know what that actually works for me uh, I'm gonna have the kids make friends at school oh, okay I like how he brought his bucket of sand into the house and he's dumping it everywhere um, that's fun. That's really fun. Thank you for doing that. Okay, so Joel is just cleaning up. I'm starting to feel really bad for this guy. He is an elder, and he's got these six children to take care of. And the house, it, I mean, we live off the grid, so there's quite a bit of work um, that goes into living here. 
So I kind of feel bad for him that life is is so demanding at his age. I don't know how he's going to hold up. He's quite elderly. It says he has lived for 87 days, and that's that's quite a few days. Also, I was hoping to have the Kava party in this episode. I really want to get going on Sunny's aspiration, so I'm really hoping we can do that. Uh, Grayley is going to use the potty, and then maybe she can go play with some blocks for a bit. Trying to keep these kids entertained and occupied is kind of hard to do. <laughs> Sterling ages up in a couple of days, so that is good news. He won't be a toddler for too much longer. The kids are at school making friends. Joel, I'm actually gonna have him mop this up and then Sterling can use the potty. Oh, wait. There we go. All right, yeah, Joel, poor Joel. He just, he works really hard to keep this place tidy. I think maybe I'll have him go to the washroom. Oh, what's happening here? Something breaking? Oh no, the laundry pile is dripping wet. Also, there's no, what happened to the toilet? I'm not sure what happened to the toilet for this bathroom. Oh, it can't be cloned? Yeah, okay. We'll just grab something random then. Um, I guess, will this one work? I like the look of the other one because it's quite realistic for an off the grid home and none of these really, are what I'm looking for. So maybe I'll just get like, there's this, but it's more futuristic than anything else. Oh no, it's um, the see-through loo by TMI Industries. Okay, that's actually for the eco living pack. So that probably works out great. Let's have him go to the washroom. I love how the barbecue is directly next to the outhouse. That is really classy. Maybe I'll have him, some, have him gather some water as well because we do need as much water as we can get. And then I think I'll have Sterling go play dolls for a little bit. The kids should be home from school and then all hell will break loose because we'll have four more sims to worry about. Although they should be in fairly good moods. I think they're all going to be fairly happy. Invite their friends over. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know why I did that to myself. I guess when you have eight kids, what what's two more, really? This guy is, I don't know, he looks like he was pretending to go fishing. But yes, they did bring home some friends. Maybe I will have, you know, we can't feed all those friends. We literally can't feed them all. <laughs> um, there isn't an option to make plates of food that large. So that's not really going to be an option. Maybe we could have like universal homework time where they all just sit down and do their homework. I'm going to attempt that and see how it goes. And you know what? Forgive me. I don't know which kid's which. I'm fairly certain this one is Ash. Is that one Ash? Yeah, that one is Ash. This one, I don't know. I don't know who he is. Um, that one is Storm. This one would be Stone. This one's Steel. And this one's Sterling. Okay. Don't expect me to ever fully remember their names because I won't. I will absolutely not. Oh, I've got a kid making a mess. We gotta go. Oh, Caden. Send him home. <laughs> That's the kid that uh, one of the children brought home from school. Thank you for that, Caden. There's an emergency. I need to go now. Wow, how convenient. All right, um, you know what? No, let's go serve some dinner. We're gonna make um, chili, I think. Can Joel do that? I think the kids are doing pretty good. Maybe I'll just have them like take a quick nap on the couch or something. I don't know. There, I, all I know is there's too many kids to take care of. And I'm already getting overwhelmed. So yeah, there's that. And like I said, I do want Sunny to throw a kava party, but we just have so many damn kids. Um, I don't know who would want to come here for a party, honestly. We could probably just have a party just the family. Is that a thing? Hold on, let me check that. Because that would be interesting if we could just have a party and invite our own household and still get the credit for the kava party. How long does it take to go to the washroom? Okay, so we're gonna go with keg. No, not keg. There's so many. I have a mod, so there's a whole bunch of events here, and it might take me a minute to find the Kava party, or I might just uh, go right past it, which I'm pretty sure I have done at this point. Oh, there it is, Kava party gold event. Um, we're gonna have Sunny be the host. Oh, we could just see. We could just do the family: Joel, Ash, Steel, Sterling, Stone, Storm, and Grayley. Perfect. You know what, that's fine because she only knows one person outside of our household anyway. 
So there we go, the event has officially started. From what I can remember, this event is not that easy to do. Um, there's not a lot of time, so I'm gonna have her prepare the kava, invite guests to drink kava. I don't even know if the kids can. I feel like I probably should have had um, one more adult, just in case it's like a, it's something that the children can't have. I have a feeling this is gonna be a failed attempt at having a kava party. What is kava? I thought it was a drink, but that doesn't look like a drink at all. I really don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Um, call to grab drink. I guess we'll do that and see who can actually come. Oh, there we go. Grab a drink of kava. Oh, okay. This might be easier than I thought. Um, so the goal that we have to do is earn gold on a kava party. So I think we should be able to do that. Um, Joel, I'm gonna have him grab a drink, and then I'm actually gonna have her grab another one. That way we'll get to the number three. Uh, yeah, see the kids can't have it, so I guess it's probably something alcoholic, or I mean some kind of juice, basically. And we need to socialize with the guests. We can thank the kids for coming. That, I think, is the same as socializing. Oh, make a kava toast. Hold on a second. I do believe you have to do that with a kava drink in your hand, but I, again, could be mistaken. Hold on, what is this? No one should have to experience watching someone they care about pass away. I'm so sorry you had to see that storm. I am here for you. Oh my god, he said that to his brother, and that's probably, I, I think, he's referring to the sim that I killed. Uh, that was Kian, but he had to go. I'd have no regrets when it comes to that, but that is kind of sad. It is kind of sad that he's feeling upset about it. I'm going to send the kids to bed because they they are getting really tired and I'm done with them anyway. So there's that. Okay, Sunny, grab your drink. And then um, let's see if there's an option to do a toast. I'm not seeing one. I'm going to click on the drink itself. How do I do this? Uh, with a cup of kava in hand, select another sim, then make a friendly toast. Okay, that seems simple enough. Maybe not. Ask if Joel wants kids. It's a little late for that. Hmm. Okay, I I didn't see the option. Okay, stop sitting down. Maybe that'll help. I don't know. See, she should be able to just go over here and... Hmm, I'm not seeing it. This is... Oh, there it is. Kava Toast. I like that this is just a party literally for her and her husband and nobody else. Uh, also, I wanted to get a picture of her making this toast, but there we go. All right, good enough. Um, so there's our toast. I'm going to have to socialize a few more times. Let's thank, thank him for coming, even though, um, of course, he's here. He lives here. Uh, invite guests to drink kava. Okay. Make a group meal, have Sims dance at the same time. I don't want to do those things. Okay, I guess we're getting a stereo. I don't, oh wait, no, the TV. I think that this TV actually has a stereo like built into it. Let me just try, turn on, um, oh, is there like island music? I feel like there is, yeah, island radio. Okay, so we're gonna call to grab a drink. I'm gonna make a group meal. I wanna make something really simple so it doesn't take long. I think I'll just do the caprese salad or caprese. I'm not sure how to say that. See, we can get to three of these, I think. Oh, wait, no, I want Joel to grab a serving of this. This is much easier for some reason when it's just her household doing this. Here, get him to grab one more and then we'll... Because we have to do this... Uh, we have to get to three drinks. So I think if he grabs this, we should be at gold. Yeah, I would say that we are. So, um, kids are asking random questions. There we go. So that's our gold event. I think that's all we had to do. Okay, so Joel has to go to the washroom. Uh, so I'll have him do that. And the children, I guess I should, who is this? Letitia, I'm a guest at, like, at the party? I did not invite her here. <laughs> um, I don't know why we have random party guests, but that's a little bit weird. Oh! 
Oh, Sterling wrecked the dollhouse. He was supposed to be in bed anyway. I don't know how that happened. I guess I'll have Joel fix that. Now our house is a mess again. I feel like I worked so hard to get it all clean and like organized after the renovations and now it's just back to being a total mess. Okay, Grayley is asleep. Sterling is asleep. This guy, he needs to go play some dolls for a bit because he's feeling really stressed out and he wants to have some fun. Um, I'll have him go to the washroom. Of course, the children are making a mess. You know what? Joel's job basically is just to go around with a mop every day and clean up after these kids. Um, I'm going to have him use this bush. He's going to fertilize it because I feel like they all should go to the washroom before they go to bed. Um, cause bedwetting is like a new thing. I don't know if that's slice of life or base game. I'm not sure, but it's been happening more. So I, I do want to make sure that that doesn't happen. Let's clean this all up. Why is Grayley awake? No, 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 no. Put her back down. She's supposed to be asleep. What is that? She can't reach something? What is happening? She was asleep. Why is she whining? I'm so confused. That is really weird. Was she not just in bed and now all of a sudden she can't go to bed? Let's try this maybe. Okay, this is an actual nightmare. <laughs> Toddlers can't go to sleep. Okay, she's able to go to sleep, but you have to teleport her into the corner. My god, that is way more work than I'm willing to do. All right, let's clean up after this party. <laughs> this party where we had zero guests. Clean up, clean up, clean up. And where is Joel doing? No, no, don't do any gardening. We're good for that, thank you. Um, go to the washroom. Oh, we have to catch up on laundry as well. It is 10 o'clock at night, though. I really doubt that he wants to be doing that. This kid was supposed to go to the washroom and he didn't. You know what? I had this issue last time where pretty much all the Sims were just ignoring what I was telling them to do. And it seems like that is very much a thing right now. I instructed them all to go to the washroom and none of them did. So let's try this again. Okay, that one is asleep. He's too late. Um, I'll have these ones. I don't know what else to call them because of course I don't know their names. Um, they can all just go to bed. This one is playing games. You know what? Just go to bed. I don't know what else to say. Uh, how is he doing? He's just grabbing that laundry off the line and then I'll, I'll have him go to sleep. I think actually we can have these two woohoo because there is no risk of pregnancy when our house is full. So yeah, just clean that up and go to bed, I guess. Actually, you know what? No. Joel Joel's have it has an empty schedule for tomorrow. We'll have him clean this all up. <laughs> no problem. And then we should also complete the first milestone here once we get gold on the party. What is this child doing? Why aren't they staying in their beds? This is what is going on? Okay, Kava party complete. That's great. But why don't the kids go to bed? Not enough nap time. Oh my god, I don't know what's happening here. This kid was sound asleep in his bed before, and now he can't use it. That is going to be really interesting. And by interesting, I mean terrible, because if they're just going to wake up at random and not be able to get back into their bed, that is a problem. Okay, they're all doing it. I'm, I'm, this is a nightmare. Why are they doing this? Did he wet his bed? He did. He did. He did. All right. No, Sonny, where are you going? What, what's everyone doing? Um, okay, now this kid has to have a shower because he wet the bed. Um, can somebody maybe tell me, because you guys are like know everything about this game, could someone tell me if the bedwetting has to do with Slice of Life or if it's base game? Because if it's Slice of Life, I will happily remove that mod because I don't want that. This is just going to be really... It's 1 o'clock in the morning and this kid is on his way to take a shower. That is going to be really time consuming. That, yeah, that's, and that's a waste of water. We live off the grid. We cannot afford for our kids to be showering at the, in the middle of the night. Okay, he's off to bed again. And I feel like I have to keep a close eye on everyone to make sure that they actually stay in bed, especially the toddlers. Okay, I think 
I think we're good. It's 3 a.m. Uh, and then I want to see when Sterling ages up. I feel like it's pretty soon tomorrow. Oh, thank God. Thank God, because I'm I'm definitely done with the toddlers. Grayley isn't too bad. I can do one. That's that's fine. Anything more than that is pretty unreasonable. Um. So okay, this one is up. Did he pee himself? Oh, he's going to. He's definitely going to. Oh, the laundry situation is out of hand. You know what? I thought I would come back into this with the house like freshly renovated and everything is going to be really good. But it's not. Now this kid's about to literally pee himself. Yeah, no. It's just as miserable as it was before. <laughs> Things are just as bad. I thought they would get better. That was silly of me. Okay, Joel, um, let's replace this water and then wash some laundry in the wash tub. I'll have Sunny get up and go to the washroom. Also, I think Sunny just has to get one more skill point in the logic skill before she can get a, a promotion. And we're pretty close. You know what? Maybe I'll have her go to the washroom and then finish that logic skill. Then we could get our last promotion. So let's have the kids play dolls. I don't know what else to do with them all. The toddlers are actually not too bad. Yeah, they can just play dolls together. I'm not really sure what else to do with them. This one gets bored really easily. Power outage from a close lightning strike. Why is he getting that moodlet when we did not have a power outlet that's, or a power outage? That's really weird. I'm not sure why that's happening, but um, let's get some laundry done. I don't know why this is such a problem. <laughs> we might need more than one, one wash tub because he doesn't seem to grasp the concept. Yeah, he's not. He's definitely not. We may have to just get rid of laundry because this is getting out of hand. <laughs> this is disappointing. I was really excited to come back into the save file after doing all these renovations. I was like, okay, life's going to be great, but it's not great. It's just back to being terrible. <laughs> Our house is just as disorganized as ever. The children are just as miserable as ever. And also late for school. And depressed from death of a family member, which I have no idea what that's about. Yes, we're going to go to work today because I really want to get that promotion. You know, our home life might be terrible, but we're actually making moves with this challenge. Sunny has mastered the logic skill. Okay, so yesterday we completed the Kava party, which was the first milestone for her aspiration. We need to find things beachcombing, grill or barbecue or roast food five times. Really easy to do. We're just going to do that anyway. And for her career, today is the last um, promotion. So we want to make sure she's on time for work and comes home with that final promotion. Joel is out here sweating buckets because he's trying to do laundry. This poor guy. I just, I feel bad for him. Okay, so he's going to hang that up. I'm going to have him go take a shower. This guy rarely has time for self-care. So I want to, I want to set some time aside. Um, Sterling can go to the washroom. Tell me we have food. Okay, we do. We have French toast and we have pancakes. I'll put both out just in case we only have one serving. And then Grayley can come get some of that. Also, this is broken. I'm just going to replace it. Well, I mean, at least it was a big day for Sunny. We are getting somewhere with her challenge, which is good. I don't feel particularly um, stressed out about her challenge because we're doing good for timing. Uh, Grayley is still a toddler and she still has, I think, oh, four days before she ages up. So we have plenty of time. Why aren't these children obeying me? <laughs> I don't ask for much, just for my sims to do what I tell them. Come grab a serving. I'm pretty much waiting for Sunny to get home because that's going to be, that's going to be really exciting. Oh, that's why Grayley is stuck. That's my fault. That is entirely my fault. Well, I mean, actually, no, it's not. I still blame the game because I had to teleport her into that corner so she can use her bed, which makes no sense. Okay, how's Sterling doing? He needs a little bit of attention, which I think we could probably have Grayley and Sterling just play together, and that might help with his attention, I hope. This guy 
guy, this poor guy. Stinky diaper. I haven't seen him in a good mood in a long time. At least not a good mood that lasts very long. I really feel bad for him. His life makes me sad. Okay, um, as for broken things, we're doing pretty good. Nothing's actually broken at the moment. Uh, he does need to have some fun. I'll try to see if playing chess will be fun for him, but I kind of doubt it. See if these two can play. Talk about toys. Um, talk about superheroes. Talk about art. You'd think that would help his, um, his social, but I don't know. <laughs> Yell at? I like that. Yeah, okay, that is helping his social. Good. So that is the why he's feeling angry. If I'm feeling bitter about someone nearby, um, why does he hate his sister? Festering grudge. Bitter sentiment. Well, that's unfortunate. These two don't actually like each other. Um, they'll work on it, though. It's probably something really petty. Okay, I'm gonna have Grayley go play dolls for a little bit. I don't know what else to do. Here, he can play with his shapes. I really don't know what to do. This guy, he just wants a break. He just wants a little bit of a break where he can play chess and not worry about raising six kids. And I don't think that's too much to ask. Speaking of six kids, the other four are home. This one is dehydrated, so I'm gonna have him grab some water. The other ones, they're on their own. I don't, I don't know. This is so overwhelming. You can bet I'm gonna be moving these kids out the moment they become young adults. And I know I'm getting way ahead of myself here, but I am really excited for that. All right, when is she home from work? She's home at four, okay. Good, because I'm excited. We're gonna be at our last promotion and then we can just pretty much focus on her aspiration and then we're gonna be done with her challenge. There we go, she is so sore. Promoted to Chief Sustainability Officer. Um, so that is her final promotion. She is level 10 of the Environmental Manager career. And I don't know if there's much else. Did we get like a career reward? Because those would, that would be handy. Uh, the Fingers of Sulani, it's $100. It's just not very good. But um, I think I'm gonna keep this because we are keeping little heirlooms from each generation. For the Rose Gen, we have quite literally a rose. And then somewhere, oh, we have this patent here, which was, um, what was her name? Minta? Menta? I don't remember. But the Mint generation. Um, so we'll keep, maybe the Fingers of Sulani will be her thing. Or maybe, I don't know, because there's, there's also this conch shell, which is also a Sunny's. So probably one of these two items will be her heirloom that she passes down. Uh, so I'm going to leave this episode here. I feel like we're doing pretty good for Sunny's um, yellow generation. Hopefully life gets better having six kids. I doubt it though. It's always going to be a journey around here. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>